Good to see you. Good seeing you, Mike. Good seeing you, Mike. Oh, he's on a different page. I like how everyone is looking good, yeah. I dressed up too. I showered. Yeah. I think we all dressed up for you, Kenny. <laughs> we all you. dressed up for you. That's the fun <laughs> to talk with you all. Alright, we can start now. All okay. Right. Hi everybody, I'm I'm Kenny from Bole Music. Uh, so, uh, uh, can you uh, introduce to me uh, to us first uh, from uh, uh, Bole Music is a, a music website uh, basic basic in Jakarta, Indonesia. So, uh, Albert is my my uh, long time friend, yeah, Bete. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, yeah. me and Kenny, we actually go way back. Yeah. Yeah. So. so so uh, when I uh, I heard uh, he I don't know this is a new band or uh, when Abed say that uh, I have a new 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 song so uh, maybe you can I, I don't know what your your band uh, uh, ma, what's the name is uh, Big Mother Geek right? Yeah? <laughs> Big Mother Geek yep. yes okay. Can we start now from the the name of the band? So can you, uh, what's the meaning of the uh, Big Mother Gigs? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, hang on. Actually, before we go on, uh, are we? Are you recording this? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. Oh okay. Is, no. that, is, is that okay? Oh yeah, it says record. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I see. It says it says record. Okay. It says recording. Oh okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. Richard. You Albert, you want to tell him how you came up with the name? Yeah, it's actually <laughs> it's a good story. I think it's you. That's all you, man. You came to Albert in a dream. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Uh, I, you know, the name. <laughs> so, uh, I came. Well, I, I actually didn't come up with the name. Uh, uh -huh. the, the band has a long history. Okay. And uh, in the very beginning of the band. Um, we had a guitar player named Rob, and he came up with the band name. Um, and uh, I don't remember exactly why. I remember it was the '90s, and everyone was using the word "mother" a lot. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I remember this. Yeah. Like "mother love bone," and there was uh, yeah, all these "mother" was just being used a lot. So we kind of liked. And, and in Mil we're from a town in America called Milwaukee, and there's a big music festival every year mm -hmm. called Summerfest. But the locals all called it the big gig. And uh, if you got to play at Summerfest, it was the big gig. So we kind of combined the, you know, stuck the word mother in between there. And <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is. Uh... Uh, the latest formation. How <laughs> how you you got together with uh, this, how do we get uh, together? this formation? Yeah, uh, uh, this is uh, from the beginning of the band, or uh, this is the new newest one. Yeah, I mean, I would say the newest uh, version of the band is is the four of us, and we all met uh, four years ago. Okay, um, four years ago, huh? Yeah, you believe that? It's been yeah. four years. Wow. Um, in fact, uh, what's today? March uh, 17th. 17th. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow is the four year anniversary of that first show. It, no uh, shit. Tomorrow. Yeah. Huh? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. So we met, uh, honestly, we met through uh, the internet. Like, yeah, I, I answered an ad on Craigslist. I think you were looking for, I think you mentioned the replacements and I don't remember what the other band was. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, I think he did mention that. Yeah. Yeah, I think you had me at, at the replacements, man. Like when I was like, oh, this is like the only ad that sounded like, you know, promising. The rest just like, if you're into the sleep not disturb and stuff like wow. that yeah. you can get a hold of me i'm like no not this band and then i click on your ad i was like uh something about like like an established a band and i was like oh maybe this guy you know has got it together and stuff you know so that's why i emailed you 
Yeah, and then we got together. That yeah, and um, I actually joined, I think, right after, like, you and Micah and Richard had all connected, and then a mutual friend of Richard's and mine, who is in, you know, we're, I'm from Chicago, my friend is back in Chicago, mm -hmm. Richard. I think Richard was playing a gig in Milwaukee, and my, our mutual friend Steve went and saw him. And I forget the gist of the conversation. Somehow Richard said that he was looking for a guitar player and my our mutual friend introduced me to Richard and we met up uh, at a rehearsal space. And even though I didn't see the replacements in a want ad, we jammed on a replacement song, <laughs> Can't Hardly Wait. That and Cheap Trick and I forget what else we played. Oh, but, yeah. um, it's oh, Cheap Trick. Oh yeah, I remember that. The old school band, Cheap Trick. Eh? Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> and that was it. That was okay. Yeah, because Albert, Richard, and I played. We got together once, and and Richard, you knew you had mentioned. Oh, I know this guy. I'm going to be checking out this guitar player. Yeah. And then yeah. The, oh, then yeah, the second. Yeah. It's starting to come back, you know. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Remember, remember before Mike was in the band and the three of us got together and recorded that Katy Perry song? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, I remember that. That was when I we forgot do. about that, man. Yeah. That's when yeah. we forgot we about did. that. That was like the first time I think we got together. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I need your help recording so the Katy funny. Perry song. Yeah. You know what's funny though? All of us is from the Midwest, you know? I mean, mm -hmm. what are the odds of that, right? Yeah. It kind of makes sense that that's why we all became fast friends as well as bandmates, you know? Heck yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're all from the same part of the United States and we're all about the same age and we all listen to the same music, so it just made well, sense. I'm still 20, so. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. I'm like yeah. the youngest in the band. Wait, <laughs> really? I am the youngest <laughs> in the band. Isn't it your bedtime? Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, let's no. talk about your newest uh, song. It's, it's called uh, "Doctor Will See You Now." What what what's the what the song is about? Can you yeah, yeah. Um, Richard, Mike, you can talk about this. <laughs> uh, you know, I think um, I think I'll defer to you, Richard. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I wrote the I write the most of the the music or the mm -hmm. songs or whatever. So um, yeah, I uh, the song. The Doctor Will See You Now is specifically about, um, you know, when you when you realize you need help mm -hmm. uh, with something mm -hmm. and you try to take care of yourself. Um, so here, where we live in Los Angeles, there's a whole community of people who do different types of healing work, you know, like okay. self self-care. So different types of therapy or different types of diets or, you know, all these different things you can do to, to be better at whatever you're struggling with. And so it's a little bit like going to a doctor to get better. Um, and I wrote the song about my own uh, addictions and oh. trying to, yeah, and trying to come to terms and get better. Um, and how you know you sort of look to people around you to help um, with whatever you're struggling with, and um, yeah. Okay. So the, this this song, uh, the call, uh, the doctor will see you now. It's it's the part of the new uh, new album, yeah, and will be it will release on April. Uh, what's the the title of the album. I, I thought it's Gusto. It's, is that right? Yeah. Gusto or Gusto? Yeah. Gusto. <laughs> Gusto. Gusto. Okay. Gusto. So, uh, how the, the process, uh, the making of this album? Okay. So, and uh, how many songs in the, the album? Yeah, uh, how many songs? I think there's 13 songs, right guys? Mm -hmm. I think so. Oh, no. Is that yeah? Is that how many made it onto it? Oh okay. Oh crap! You already got the copy. Oh, right. <laughs> where'd you get that, man? Okay. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah, I think there's 13. Um, 
and I wrote all the songs, um, you know, in about in about a, uh, three days. Um, I did a pretty intense writing uh, weekend, um, and all the songs, to some degree, uh, are about my struggle with addiction and my recovery from addiction. And so um, that's why it all they all came out at the same time. So I went, I rented a cabin in the desert and just wrote for three days. And then I came back and sent it to these guys and they all thought it sounded pretty good. And so, Not right away you didn't though. I remember really well that you were like, because we were all, we knew before you went that you were going and you went and you came back and you were like, because I remember thinking, like, when are we going to hear this stuff? When are we going to hear this stuff? Because we hadn't heard anything. I, think, from I don't before. know. I'm not sure. For, what but you didn't. Yeah. You didn't send it to us right away. You were kind of like, you know, I want to sit in this a little bit. But then, but then I remember it in a couple of days. You were like, I'm kind of excited about this. I want you guys to hear it. Because I was excited. I was like, you know, chomping at the bit. Like, I can't wait to hear this stuff. Yeah, I don't so remember was, exactly when I sent them, you guys. I just remember sending them, and then like an hour later, you guys all wrote back with, like you all listened to it immediately. Yeah. Everybody came back with like some really positive mm -hmm. feedback. You know, they thought the songs were good. So, um, and that was uh, that was like February of, of 2019. Uh, oh, okay. 19. Okay. And so then, yeah. like, starting in March, we just started, you know, rehearsing the songs. Mm -hmm. And then we would, uh, you know, everyone in the band, we're all, we all have, you know, jobs and, and families and other projects. So we would take the album, you know, these 12 or 13 songs, and we would kind of work on three or four at a time. Mm -hmm. and so we'd go to, a, you know, we'd rehearse them and play them and play them and play them for a few months and then record them and then move to the next batch and do it like that. So by the end of the year, we had the album done. And yeah, I remember this. We had it, yeah, we had it all mixed. It was like just December of 2019. Mm -hmm. And then we played one show in January to celebrate wow. and we finished our album. And then uh, coronavirus happened. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's right, I remember that. Yeah, you might recall there was a pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. this this album is uh, recorded before pandemic, right? It it was it was recorded before the pandemic, but mm -hmm. ironically, we recorded it in a way that we'd already started to do um, that was very pandemic friendly, if you will, because um, you know we had made a, a previous record. The previous record before this was a combination of some songs that Richard and Big Mother Gig had recorded in previous iterations. And then we recorded new material and we all we did it in a very traditional way where we rehearsed it and then went into the studio together and laid down the basic tracks and then did some overdubs over a couple of days and whatnot. But then after that, uh, there were a couple of additional songs that we did for that, that previous record where we kind of um, Albert and Richard would go into the studio and track his drums and, along with uh, you know a scratch guitar and vocal track for Richard. And then we each we would send it around, and each of us has our own little setups at home, and we would kind of add our own parts and tracks, and then we sent them all to Dan Long, who was mixing it. And then that's how we did this whole record. Was you know we we got the original you know demos from Richard, and all of us really responded positively for them and we're like yeah this is great this you know mm -hmm. and then we started getting together and rehearsing it and then but then we all kind of hunkered down on our own again Richard and Albert would go in record the basics for like the first batch and we'd all take them home woodshed and, and like add our parts that we had rehearsed and additional stuff send those to Dan to mix and then continue that process until it was all done and it was really cool because when you hear it all done it's so integrated like everything just is like like there's it, it just sounds like we were all just there doing it 24 you know, 7 and that's what yeah it, it really totally cool. does yeah, yeah. I, I, and it was it, it was great because like doing it that way we could get 
what like I could listen to what Albert was doing when I was at home and, and work on the bass line. And then all of a sudden Mike would have a track. And so then I could hear that. And then we'd get together the next week and we'd go into the rehearsal space. And then we'd hear it played live together. And it was just so even though we didn't record it together, I mean we just the this we were such a, a tight unit because we were rehearsing it going home, listening, 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 recording, hearing what everybody else is doing. Yeah. I, I listen to it now and it just, to me, sounds so tight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Out for sure. Okay, so the, the, the Gusto is the uh, second, al second or third album from, uh, uh, from Big Mother Geek. Big Mother Geek. Yeah. For Big Mother Geek, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can call Kenny, us. have you done your homework for this interview? <laughs> I wonder. Uh, oh, Kenny. <laughs> uh, it's te well, technically, it's like the fifth or sixth album. Okay. Um, but it's the second album that the four of us have made together. Oh yeah, I see. Uh, there were there were three albums that came out in the '90s, uh, um, but that was a different guy, different group of people. So, and this, yeah, and this was the first, I think I may have mentioned, this was the first album that top to bottom is, is the four of us. Like this, right, yeah. this whole batch of songs that Richard wrote that weekend and then the, we all got together and this is like, as it, as this iteration of the band, this, this was the first like full cohesive uh, mm -hmm. album that we did top, start to finish. Yeah, which almost was perfect because that first one that we did was almost like a test run. So when we got to this one, we really had it together. I mean, we were all just, I think, playing at our at the at our top top of our game. And we'd had the benefit of being able to, you know, in between we we were, were playing out a lot, and we did some 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 shows with some different, um, you know, bands that you know some some good some really big good shows. And we had a chance to really play together and and like gel as a band. And then we went and recorded this record. So the timing was really good, and I think it shows. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and about the single, the doctor will see you now. It's a, a second single from Gusto, and before you already released a, a underdog. I, is that correct or or am I wrong? <laughs> Yes, no, that is correct. Okay, that and is correct. on the end, in the underdog, it's uh, you uh, uh, collaboration with collaborate with uh, a singer. And what's the difference between the uh, first single and the second single on uh, Gusto? Uh, you mean just musically? What's the what's the difference? Between yeah, the musically two? and uh, uh, the themes of the song. Sure. Yeah, I mean, the underdog is um, <clears throat> is. Um, I mean, the the song is about you know all the songs are about you know what I said before about mm -hmm. recovery from addiction. Mm -hmm. The underdog was really a song that I wrote specifically for my wife mm -hmm. and my family. Um, who, you know, almost like, I, I've, I've been married for almost 25 years, if you can believe that, because I'm very young looking. <laughs> um, yes, you are. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, no, we've been together a long time, and, um, you know, she's always, uh, she's always a few steps ahead mm -hmm. of me. So she always knew what we should be doing, and I was always catching up to her um, in a good way. Like she's always kind of shown me the way to be a, to be a person, to be a man. And this song is kind of almost thanking her for, for that and recognizing that I'm, you know, I don't know if that term translates uh, the underdog, but the concept of an underdog is it's someone who's not supposed to win. Um, it's something you say in sports, so this team is unlikely to win, so they're the underdog. And so that song is about me being someone who's not really likely to, to win, 
um, but you want them to. And so that's, it's really a thank you note uh, to, to my wife for, you know, rooting, rooting for me to win. Okay. Okay, is there any reason why uh, you first release the underdog and then the, the second one? Is there any reason or just uh, can you <laughs> explain to me why yeah, you were, sure. uh, um, I think everyone really felt like the underdog mm -hmm. was a good introduction okay. to the to the band. So um, it it's, it feels like it it takes a while for the song to build. It doesn't just come in. There's actually a bit of an you know we tend to write three minute songs. This one's actually like four minutes. So it's got it takes time to really turn into a full song and so it feels like the first you know it's the first song on the album and you know it also features a, a guest singer yeah. uh, Leah from the band Soft Crust who are fantastic and so we all just kind of whenever we sent the album out to people that was the song people thought you know talked about the most and so it seemed like okay that seems like the obvious first thing to put out there and and you know and then the doctor will see you now you know is a little bit more a little bit more succinct as a pop song um it just felt like a natural follow-up to that because they're still they're both pretty high energy um you know pop rock whatever you want to call i don't know what, what you call the music you make indie rock or pop um, pop uh, uh trap you know they're really good traps on them. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay and uh okay the next is uh before this uh gusto you uh you say that uh this is the second album with this formation so uh in 2018 you released the no more question is that correct yes and what's the difference between uh, Gusto and uh, No More Question about the concept and uh, recording process? Maybe can you... Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll start, but you guys can jump in at any time. Uh, no More Questions is almost a, uh, almost a compilation of songs that we uh, had recorded over a few years. So we just kept recording songs and then putting them out as singles. And then we just collected them all together. So there isn't really uh, a theme. You know, there's not like one big theme, no more questions. There's, songs there's some social commentary on there though. With, with with some of those songs and there's like songs that are a little bit more political i to me i think with no more questions is richard more richard with no more questions is writing about what's outside of him whereas with gusto richard is writing about himself which i think maybe is one of the first times when you really listen to the big mother gig where richard is like peeling away the layers and being really honest about who he is and like standing up and saying here i am whereas with um, no more questions. It was, it was an external album versus an internal album. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so. Totally okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Gasto is uh, we release is only on CD or will uh, on the digital streaming, so we, we can listen on the like Spotify or YouTube or something like that. Yeah, it, we have CDs made. Um, it'll also be available on all the digital streaming services, um, Spotify, Apple oh. Music, mm -hmm. wherever. It comes out on April 30th. Mm -hmm. um, we're thinking about doing vinyl too, maybe, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, but for now, the uh, it'll be out on yeah on all the digital streaming services. Okay, so, so so we can listen on the digital streaming too, yeah. With, uh, guest, guest yeah, on April uh, April thirtieth. April thirtieth. 
and how how to get the CD? Uh, we can. Uh, oh yeah, go, uh, so I should have mentioned uh, Bandcamp. If you go to uh, Bandcamp uh, slash Big Mother Game, you can pre-order it, and then we'll uh, mail it to you. Okay. And T-shirts, you can get T-shirts. Oh, T-shirt is merch. You can we can order on the Bandcamp too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, would you say something to uh, uh, Indonesian listeners? <laughs> Uh, maybe all of you can you say something about uh, the, the the new album? Uh, maybe one by one. Uh, I'll say it in Indonesian. <laughs> I'll, I'll both in English and in Indonesian. I think we can start uh, from maybe Mike, Micah, Richard, and then me. Okay. Oh, you want to be last, Albert? Yeah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll do last. Okay. Okay. Are you going to translate everything we say? <laughs> I think it would be like a, like a close uh, caption. Or close captioning, yeah. yeah. I'm sure. Okay. All right, Mike, you go first. Uh, what can I say? Well, I uh, would love it if uh, the listeners there uh, would give us a good listen and spend some time with the record. And, you know, if we get enough of a fan base there, maybe we'll, you know, Make it down there for some shows. You never know. Sure. I think Annie will probably put something together for us. That'd be great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The main uh, thing was in Indonesia, so I'm sure we can. All of us can fly over there, maybe. And play yeah, for sure. A couple shows. Oh, for okay. sure. I, I think so. what I would say about this album is um, about this band is when you hear it when you first hear the songs and when you first listen to this record you know give it a listen two or three times of these songs because that's when you're really going to start to hear what what's what's going on because on the first listen you're going to hear these and you think it's like a rock song or a pop song or a rock pop or whatever whatever it is that you think it sounds like but it's way deeper than that it really is there's a lot of depth to these songs you know lyrically with what's going on you really want to listen to what richard's saying because it because it's you know you might hear the lyrics and think it means this but you know there's a lot of depth and musically there's so much i mean we really i think put our hearts and souls into this because this was such a you know important thing for richard and we all knew that and it was important for us to make this the best record that richard has ever done i think for all of us that was kind of a really important thing to to put that into it so i mean there's so much there listen to every song two or three times give them a listen and and every time you hear it you're going to hear something new i still listen to it and i'll just be like man listen to that drum fill that over <laughs> just, i mean i'll still i'll be listening to them just like god that's so tight i just love it so you know Two or three times at least, give a listen to it. Every time you're gonna, you'll hear something new. You're gonna hear something that's fresh. Like, don't don't give up on it. <laughs> yeah. I can wait till uh, April 30th. 30th. The 30th, right? Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah, please. I, should I say something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, uh, I would say, so for. First of all, I want to actually recognize that we do have fans in Indonesia because uh, we get a lot of comments on our YouTube and and our Instagram mm -hmm. yeah. from people who uh, who say they at least say they're in Indonesia. <laughs> so, uh, so Everybody wants to be from Indonesia. Yeah, especially on YouTube, we get a lot of like you know, love your song, I'm in Indonesia. And I'm always like, hey, our drummer's from there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> so that's cool. So I would say uh, we'd love to come there and play someday. Yeah. Um, I, I had the, the, the um, pleasure or I had the honor of playing uh, in Japan about 20 years ago. And I've Whoa. not been back to that mm -hmm. continent since. And I'd love to come back. And, uh, and play all over. And I would just say, in terms of the record, like if you like, you know, honest, 
uh, indie rock, whatever you want to call it, alternative rock. If you like good songs and guitars and you want to hear something that's honest and true, then this is our record. That's, you know, that's all I can really say. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, um, but, you know, there's lots of trap music out there. <laughs> Well, I guess everybody will like your your music, especially in Jakarta, Indonesia. What do you think, Albert? <laughs> yes, uh, I gotta say that you know I think uh, the Indonesian listeners have to check out Gusto, 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 Richard. I <laughs> Gusto. I like to say Gusto, but I think it's Gusto because it's uh, there's a lyric in one of the songs where I say Gusto. Yeah, and also this album features an Indonesian drummer. Woohoo! Okay. So, you know, um, well, I'm I'm really proud of this record because I think this is like the um, the record that four of us actually, um, I guess, kind of like came together as you know bandmates, you know, as musicians. We totally like poured our ideas good record it's like Mike said that it's more cohesive you know uh, compared to no more questions I mean, no more questions are awesome but uh, Gusto is just like to know what we want and also when Richard brought all these ideas uh, like the songs that you know he recorded up in like an installation or something you know when uh, we we're all kind of like you know just kind of nervous and excited at the same time and then he played it for us. Well, I, I think the first, uh, the, um, first he was like, uh, I don't know, guys. You know, I'm not. I'm. I think I remember you saying, uh, Richard. I remember you saying, I'm not confident enough. But I feel like this is pretty raw. I don't know if I want to show it to you guys. And then Mike was like, yeah. you know, just play it. Just, just, just uh, show it to us. And then we heard it, and it was like, I, well, you know, when I got the uh, the, the uh, tracks, I was like. Wow, this is awesome. I, I know this is going to be really, really good. And it did turn out great, you know. The recording process was a little bit kind of like, I thought it was just kind of like, uh, I don't know what to say, but uh, it was more kind of like, it was just me and Richard in the, in, the, in the studio. And then I would just lay down the drum tracks and I'd be done with it. And then I wouldn't hear anything until like, you know, Richard would send me a text, you know, like, hey, Mike just uh, got his part done. Micah just laid down the bass and stuff like that. And I heard it, and, and, and then everything, it just, like, just come together. So, uh, yeah, you had the hardest yeah. job, Albert. You had the hardest job. <laughs> because you had, so, you, uh, you had to put it all down by yourself. <laughs> oh. Dude, I, I know for sure, though, I, I, I brought so many rap with me, like the cymbals, bass drum pedals, like the snare. Like extra symbols, stick back, and I know being a drummer kind of like a pain sometimes. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, this uh, this record, April thirtieth, um, Gusto will be out on every single uh, um, digital platforms across the globe. I'm sure in Indonesia you can, you know, actually stream it uh, and then buy the record. You know, yeah. Um, I think like us musicians, this arrive especially i mean like we're dying just to play shows again hopefully we can oh, play yeah. Yeah. yeah and also uh guys i think uh kenny wants us to do like a personal message for indonesian listeners yeah sure like so, maybe we can start from richard and then mike, yeah. uh, mike and i'll do last again like yeah. maybe something like uh, uh, hi indonesia uh, you know uh check out gusto on april 30th something like that yes right kenny right yes that's right that's what you wanted to do. so something short and like okay all right here we go yeah, i think i think he's gonna edit it like later or something okay 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 all right i'll go first so i can get this okay I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Indonesia, this is Richard from Big Mother Gig. I uh, hope you listen to our new record, Gusto, and it'll be out on April 30th on all your digital streaming services. Check it out. Okay. And then Mike or Micha? Uh, Mike, go. Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, Indonesia, it's Mike. 
from Big Mother Gig. Uh, our new record, Gusto, uh, drops on April 30th, and we're super excited about it. It's a real personal record uh, for us, and uh, we're excited to hear what you think. So let us know, and maybe we'll come down there and play for you. Um, me now? Yes. Hey Indonesia, this is Micah from Big Mother Gig. Check out our new record, Gusto, coming out on April 30th. We hope that you like it. Okay, that's all. Turn okay. Hello Indonesia. This is uh, Albert from dari Big Mother Gig. Uh, album kita yang terbaru, April 30 bakal dirilis dan bisa di stream di semua digital platform. Uh, di seluruh dunia coba beli albumnya di bandcamp.com juga um, follow us at Big Mother Gig on Instagram, Facebook, SoundCloud, YouTube, um, Amazon Music, Deezer. I'm sure people still listen to Deezer, <laughs> iTunes, Twitter. And enjoy. Um, ada saya yang main drum di, di apa di album ini. Ayo kita bikin Indonesia uh, bangga. Okay. Oh wait, I said gusto, didn't I? Should okay. I do it again and say gusto? <laughs> <laughs> I said gusto. I said gusto too. Gusto. Oh, I did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey Indonesia, check out gusto. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, guys, thank you for uh, this uh, little conversation. Uh, and sharing about your mu uh, al new album Gasto from uh, Big Mother Gig. Okay, thank you. Uh, for, thank you, Kenny. Yeah, yeah, thank, thank you, you. you, Richard, Mike, and Richard, Albert. Okay, and uh, stay safe and stay healthy. You ah, too. Thank you, you too. Okay. You too. Thank you. Thank you for your okay. <laughs> we'll see soon. Right. Yeah? <laughs> okay, that sounds good. Yeah, I guess. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.